And the first card is a hotel. So uh, it looks like you might be taking a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break. There's certainly some um, um, travel that's indicated for you over here. And you'll be staying in a hotel or going in and just taking a little bit of a vacation as well. It seems like you need that. If you haven't booked one, maybe it's about time that you did. Um, you have been working very, very hard, and it looks like whatever you're working towards will be a success. You've got the prize over there. So there's some kind of celebration that you are going to be um, doing at the moment for success of whatever project or whatever it is you're working on. Could just be an overall success or overall celebration. You could even be going to some kind of party as well with that prize card over there. But it looks like there's a victory. You've got a lot of rosettes over there. So celebrating success of some kind of venture that you've been doing. You've got the mouth card over here. So just being careful about whom you speak to, about your plans, uh, and you know, um, just watching what people say as well. Uh, be very, very cautious. Take everything you hear with a pinch of salt, really. And also, don't divulge any secrets. Keep it all to yourself. You've got the running over here and lightning. So there seems to be some kind of drama that you've undergone and that has, you know, scared, scared you a little bit. It's got you uh, very fearful about what is going on. It's some kind of information that came in that, you know, rocked your world a little bit over there. You've got two bolts of lightning coming over there. So it could have been two bits of information that has caused a lot of chaos and has caused you to be uh, feeling very, very scared. This person is running as though somebody's chasing them. Uh, so there might have been a lot of pressure that has come in as well with whatever this news is. Now, an eight is coming in over there and eights are usually about changes big changes having needing to abandon things that are not serving for you, serving you and needing needing to move on and things are going to start moving pretty quickly as well with that eight card over there you've got the toy over there so this is about uh, you know looking at things with fresh eyes uh, you know almost like a, uh, through the eyes of a child um, and you know this could also be working with a lot of equipment you know almost like toys but this is about uh, approaching things uh, with a much more fun attitude um, rather than being very, very serious about things and, you know, working and learning new skills as well with that toy card coming in over there. So whatever it is you're going to be doing, it's going to be bringing about big changes for you. Uh, and also it's going to be a, a great learning experience, but it's going to be a, a lot of fun, whatever it is you're going to be doing. So those are the energies for that week. Toy card could also be about, you know, gifts and uh, receiving things that are that you enjoy quite a bit as well. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Wands here, the Six of Coins, and the Two of Blades. So it looks like you're trying to make a move uh, from wherever it is you are at. You might be thinking of relocating. You might be thinking of buying a new home as well. There's some kind of big choice coming in for you. It seems like you're not accepting everything that comes your way. You're looking at it very, very carefully. There's a final lotus over here. So they might be, uh, you might be moving on. Um, you know, and there might be some kind of deadline. Uh, there's some kind of disappointment that has come in as well. Uh, so you're um, not accepting the first offer that comes your way. There seems to be a situation where there's a lot of conflict that you're dealing with. You can see these two people fighting in the background over there. Somebody's behaving very childishly. Um, and, you know, you are also not wanting to see things. There's something that you don't want to really uh, get involved in uh, as such. But it seems like there is a, a bit of pressure there because you've got that final notice over there. So some kind of decision you have to make which you don't want to make and you don't want to get involved in conflict as well. Maybe if you make this decision, uh, it's going to stir up a lot of issues there and you really don't want to get involved in it at the moment. So uh, you're, you're in a very difficult position at the moment. Um, you've got the Six of Coins over here and the Six of Wands. So this is uh, Six of Coins is about moving away from financial problems and restrictions and difficulties there. 
there. It looks like help is coming in for you there, and it seems like money will be coming in over there. People either giving you a new job or uh, you know giving you some kind of financial assistance as well. Whatever problems you have been facing, uh, that you've got these uh, the six of wands, so overcoming all the hurdles and coming out on top. Really, news is coming in for you, so there will be victory for you in this particular situation that you're going through. So whatever this conflict is, you're going to be coming out a winner over there, and you're going to be able to overcome all these obstacles and problems that you've been going through as well. You just need to take control of that situation. Make sure that people know who you are and, uh, you know, act with confidence as well. So like I said, there's, there could possibly be a home move coming in as well with that chariot card. There's certainly uh, some kind of movement that is coming as well with that six of wands. It seems like um, victory coming in with movement there. Now, it seems like you're starting a brand new job. You've got the Ace of Coins and the Ace of Blades. So whatever problems you've been going through, it looks like you're going to be sorting out, you know, signing new contracts over there, getting over any kind of problems. If there were health issues, you're going to be able to recover from that as well. Uh, but there's also, you know, some enlightenment coming over there. So there's power coming back into your hands there with that Ace of Blades. And you are going to be starting a new job that's going to bring in the coin as well. So whatever problems you've been dealing with, it seems like financially you're going to be starting to be settled as as well there's a lot of stability coming in and you also are going to be pretty working pretty hard pretty soon you've got the seven of blades over here so you've been dealing with a, a very nasty kind of toxic situation over here and it seems to have been something on the home front here um you know there may have been loss or theft that we went on over there with that four of coins you're trying to protect whatever your assets are maybe somebody has been stealing from you as well and maybe that's what you have discovered so um, you've got that four of coins coming over here, and this is a need for you to look after all your personal possessions, look after all your uh, belongings as well. And you're, you know, you're keeping a tight rein and a tight check on your finances uh, as well. And, you know, you are very, very worried about security. Maybe you have been robbed recently and you are very, very worried about security. You might even be getting a new security system in over there with that uh, four of coins next to that seven of blades. So it looks like there's some kind of problem that happened. There was a loss of possessions or loss of material wealth over here due to theft. Uh, and it seems like you are setting uh, in place uh, security uh, so that, you know, you don't have to deal with that again. You've got the Ace of Wands, so you want to make a brand new start of a year. You want to start a, a, a fresh slate, uh, start a, a fresh somewhere else. So it looks like you are thinking about moving on. Maybe whatever this uh, theft was, whatever this problem was that happened has, uh, you know, got you a, a little scared. So this is the reason why you want to make a fresh start somewhere else. You've got the Nine of Blades, so you are pretty stressed out, pretty anxious, pretty worried about things over there, and you're not sleeping well at night. Um, so this is what's going on here. Um, you know, you are expecting the worst case scenario, and you're feeling very, very insecure as well with that Nine of Blades card. Now, this is about moving on, so it seems like you want to move. You're making plans to move. Uh, it looks like maybe you're um, planning to leave uh, this place, relocate, go somewhere that is safer, uh, and you know, uh, start a job somewhere else. So you're thinking of taking a new job somewhere else. And it looks like that's going to be coming through for you because you've got that Ace of Coins starting over here, and you're dealing with things there with that Ace of Blades. So a breakthrough coming in there for you. It, it is uh, definitely a, a chance for you to cut out all that past and move forward. Wherever you are at, you're feeling very restricted under a lot of strain, a lot of pressure, and you're crying a lot about it. But you can see this woman's almost like, you know, climbing the walls over there. So it's very frustrating wherever you are at at the moment. You're feeling very, very stuck. Now, what's in your hopes and fears? You've got the Four of Cups. So there is an offer that you are considering over the year and you are worried about it. It might not be the one that you really wanted, but it might be something that's going to bring about change for you there. You've got that uh, stalk going on in the background over there. So you've been communicating a lot over there. There's been a lot of stress and uh, strain going on over here. Maybe you've done a lot of uh, you know soul searching as well, but it looks like this offer that's come in might well be a good offer for you. So uh, an important thing to accept because it's going to allow you to start afresh somewhere else. Else. Now going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Four of Blades over here, the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Blades. So there is a, a lot of stress and strain. You need to take a little step back and come up with a strategy there. Um, you know, you need to take some time out and do some thinking uh, about what you want to do and what your next move is going to be. Um, and also you might be in a temporary kind of accommodation system as well with this uh, four of blades uh, but things will change this is a very temporary energy but you do need to come up with a good plan
You've got that Knight of Cups over there, so an offer coming in for you and possibly an offer to buy a new home somewhere else over there. An unexpected offer and maybe even a job offer over here because that's got the coins over there. So it looks like whatever this new job offer is, is going to be bringing in a lot of money. And it, you've got the Ace of Coins as well, so starting this new job opportunity. And also you will be making good friends as well with this Knight of Cups, so somebody who is going to be very, very supportive. Now you've got the Ten of Blades, whatever the situation was did not serve you and you know you are feeling very disempowered, uh, you can see this person's got their back to the wall and maybe that's how you felt, maybe you felt in the situation everybody's turned their back on you or everybody was very very nasty, very cruel to you, it's a card of cruelty this Ten of Blades, um, you know people watching, people uh, instigating problems for you, maybe you had to deal with some really nasty legal issues as well but that is now all coming to an end and you are now going to be able to move out of the situation because because after that Ten of Blades, you've got that Ace of Blades over here. So there is a breakthrough. There is victory. If there was a legal issue that you were dealing with, there's victory for you there. And you will be able to start something brand new. And this is possibly signing new contracts as well and moving on. So a fresh start coming in for you with the first two cards being Aces. Um, and you'll be able to let go of that past. So this cycle is now cl closed. It's just up to you to make that choice. And stop stressing about it. Because whatever this choice is that you make is going to be a good choice because there is victory coming in for you there i'm just drawing some cards oh this is excellent from the um fairy tale you got the another ace coming in over here with that ace of spring which says it is time to take action uh, be fearless and happy to pursue your most treasured dreams amazing career opportunities so it's definitely this wonderful career opportunity coming in this is possibly a new contract being signed and definitely new money coming in for you over there so uh, there's definitely a new job coming in and this uh, ace of spring could be a, a job overseas and it's going to bring in the money because you've got the six of autumn so the good you do comes back to you and an unexpected inflow of money so it seems like whatever this job is is going to be paying you pretty well um, so go for it you've got the five of spring there might be some competition for this particular job but it looks like you're going to come out tops and you're going to get it with that five of spring this is about a, a competing goals um, and feeling at odds with yourself so you know you're dealing with overly ambitious people but you are going to be the one that's victorious but you need to stand your ground and fight for whatever you want um, and, and that is how you're going to bring in that success so don't give up uh, you're just at the brink over here. You've got aces all of, all around and money coming in with that six of autumn. And this uh, cycle ending, this difficult cycle coming to a close right now. And you're going to be able to make that fresh start of the uh, clean slate for you there. Something that you're going to really enjoy. And there might be a lot more freedom in this new position that you're taking on. So I do hope that this reading has resonated with you and I wish you all the best for 2020. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.